Hi, welcome to another live session with Elle. I'm Mamta, Elle's beauty and health editor, and today we're here with the amazing Kavita, who is the founder and creator of Pure Earth, which Hi. is an artisanal, handmade beauty brand. They have some amazing skincare. She has um, some really good face creams, eye creams, uh, exfoliating masks, masks yeah. uh, a mitty mask, oils. I mean, everything you need for your skincare. But the good thing is, it's all handmade with some really great ingredients. Yes. A lot of it is vegan. A lot of it is cruelty free. Yes. And what else? All what else am I missing? See, I know all of it is cruelty free. There's only one. Uh, um, my mask, which has honey in it, uh, it's raw, uh, uh, organic honey. But otherwise, it's all vegan and it's sustainable. So the packaging. It's all sustainable, all, even yeah. the packaging, which is yeah, great. Glass. <laughs> uh, so and it's, you can repurpose it. You can recycle it. Uh, you and can repurpose it, you can recycle the glass, so yeah, that's that's the best part. So I know we're going to talk about natural skincare today, yeah. and I know you know a lot about natural skincare and yeah. vegan skincare, and what are the benefits of being going natural, what kind of chemicals are important for you, yeah. why acids are good for you, yeah. what kind of acids are good for you. So if you have any questions for Kavita, you can keep asking, but yeah. meanwhile, I'm going to get started with my question. Sure. First, you want to know what is natural skincare, and why is everyone so excited about it? Uh, just like the word love, you know, I mean, everybody, we use natural, we use love, these words, but uh, it can mean different things to different people. So we'll try and uh, uh, define the, the, the whole the universe meaning of, of natural. natural. Um, uh, natural is something that is um, uh, from nature and not man-made. So like one way to distinguish is natural is not man-made, which mm -hmm. means it's not made in a lab. Um, and of course, then is natural is everything natural good for you? No, petrol, petrol, arsenic is natural. Arsenic is natural. Uh, petroleum is natural. Pet petroleum is natural. So it's not necessary that it's good for you. But um, so most of our skincare products are natural because all the ingredients are derived from nature. Uh, kind of. Yeah. So so derived from nature, uh, you can take things that are derived from nature and take it in a lab, and you can process it. So. <clears throat> the resulting product may not necessarily be, um, you know, good, good for, you. for your skin. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, how do you find really good natural skincare? What are some of the things that you should look out for when you're picking it up? So, uh, natural would be things that are not uh, processed ingredients. So, you, if you take oil, oils are natural. If you take uh, minerals, so like in makeup, if you have uh, mica, that's natural. Uh, if you have um, active botanical actives, mm -hmm. turmeric, moringa, neem, um, licorice root, uh, these are all natural, natural and really yeah. good salt. Like you know, that's natural. So, what are some of the natural skincare ingredients we should have in our daily skincare routine? Look in your kitchen. I would say, you know, honestly, in terms of skincare, mm -hmm. you really, as, as simple, you can actually look after your skin using things in your kitchen. Use your kitchen as a pharmacy. And uh, go to uh, find a grocery store, an organic grocery store, and pick up things like oats, mm -hmm. like uh, uh, you know almond uh, oil, mm -hmm. like turmeric uh, powder. Tur exactly, turmeric powder. Turmeric sand is yeah. amazing. So this is an is Ayurvedic. This so this is an Ayurvedic recipe that's mm -hmm. been handed down like generations from my father's side. I'm gonna open it. Yeah. Ooh, and it looks you can amazing. see the color, and it smells amazing too. So Ooh. it is our take on. Uh, Multani Middi, but uh, and turmeric, but it has um, Manjishta, which mm -hmm. is uh, madder root, very very renowned and used in Ayurveda. And if you just simply use Manjishta powder with Multani Middi uh -huh. and a little mask out of that, don't let it completely dry. Your skin will feel transformed, transformed, mm -hmm. and you can do this at home. So what? But, how? What's the yeah. easy way of making this at home, or something like this? Because I know nothing yeah. would match that. So this has like far too many precious ingredients which are again not very easy to source and find mm -hmm. and also the kind of quality you know of these ingredients so they're from the wild like walnut and then again you know how you process it how you pound it but you know at home you can just take turmeric and then take things like tomatoes you know just while you're cooking we cook mostly with tomatoes uh -huh. so take tomatoes and it's got lycopene you know 
it's fantastic for skin. So just you what know, do you do with tomatoes? Just rub it oh, on your face. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's, that's a really you good mash tip. it and so easy. It doesn't have to just be a part of your salad. You can also rub it on your face. Exactly. Yeah. So you know, and that's what that that's the whole inspiration for Pure Earth. Uh -huh. uh, using uh, it's based on Ayurvedic principles. So, um, and it's indigenous knowledge, you know, we were told forever that turmeric is good for you, mm -hmm. but we needed the West to corroborate it and come up with the, you know, golden milk and latte to say, oh my God, turmeric's become such a uh -huh. thing now, but uh, we, we've known it forever, you oh, know, good. so turmeric. And then the other one is moringa. I think moringa is just Moringa's great. amazing. It's to like 20 to put on your face, everything. The oil, yeah. So it's and moringa. So it's a shivda and marathi. No, I mean it's 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 you It's drumsticks, basically. Yes, right? yes, mm -hmm. and, and easily you know easy to find, um, and that's something you can easily incorporate in your that's skincare. Good. Hemp is another thing. You hemp, know, I'm using okay. a lot of hemp now mm -hmm. in in all my formulations, uh -huh. and um, you know in India topically you can apply it on your skin. Uh, of course, you can't ingest it. That's not allowed. But you know you can put it on I'm your skin. Gonna pause you for a minute we have our first question from yeah. Lalita who wants to know can you advise on some really good options for dry skin she has blemishes on her cheeks so what would you recommend so, uh, so but you need to understand is your skin dry or dehydrated you know there's mm -hmm. a common uh, misconception so dry skin means it is lacking moisture mm -hmm. um, dehydrated skin means it's lacking water okay so like hyaluronic acid is good for dehydrated skin. Mm -hmm. Think toners, you know, serums, essences, toners. That is, you need those so that it binds to, it binds the moisture to your skin, keeps it in, and so humectants. Okay. That is when your skin is dehydrated. So it's like with water. So dehydrated skin, Nalita, you should probably look out for hyaluronic acid. Yes, you know. Okay. And in nature, you have Indian Senna, um, mm -hmm. is nature's botanical hyaluronic what acid. What is Indian Senna? Senna. Senna. What is it? Senna. It is. It is now. What's the other name for it? What does it look like? In in Hindi, what do we call it? It's what you use when you have um um when you're constipated. Oh, okay. So basically, Senna. the very you use that when you're constipated is great for dehydrated skin. It's 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 if you put it in water, it's going to absorb. It becomes this gel kind of thing, mm -hmm. and it is fantastic. It is a bioactive ingredient. It's easy. And uh, you, it'll bind. You know, it holds mm -hmm. up to a thousand times its weight in water. So mm -hmm. it's fantastic for your skin. So if your skin is dehydrated, that's what you're looking mm -hmm. for. If it's dry, mm -hmm. then it needs emollients, fats, butters, oils. It needs emollients. What kind to of oil moisture. can you put on your face? Then? So if she has blemishes and she has dry skin, mm -hmm. then she wants to go for um, rosehip seed oil. Mm -hmm. uh, she wants to go for sea berry oil. Like, uh -huh. you know, we have wild sea buckthorn berry oil, extremely nourishing, full of polyphenols, mm -hmm. uh, very moisturizing. So to go with oils that have more oleic acid, mm -hmm. uh, that's going to really nurture and nourish your skin. Okay, we have more. we have lots of questions for you. So Chani wants to know, can you help with darker hands? I've tanned on my hands and they've become very dark. How can I even out the skin tone? Please help. Homemade licorice root, madder root. That's manjishtha. Uh, we know, you know, you know, you know. It's called yashti madhu omuleti. That's mm -hmm. what it's called. Yes. Yeah. You can find it in your Ayurvedic store. Uh, mix it with multani mitti. Mix it with uh, honey. Uh, make a paste out of it. Milk, yogurt, and apply it. And then let me know if it works or not. And you'll find a huge difference. So what does it do for your hands? Does it uh, heal your skin? Does it moisturize? It will, uh, so madder root and uh, uh, licorice will um, uh, uh, remove any, so even if you have uneven skin tone, mm -hmm. you have pigmentation, you have blemishes, it it is proven, you know, it really does help uh, uh, even out even skin, skin tone. tone. Uh -huh. And, uh, but at the same time, if you use honey, then it's very moisturizing. So, you know, typically if you use clays and these uh, herbs, mm -hmm. it's very drying on your skin. Mm -hmm. Uh, or not all of them, but some of them can be drying on the skin. Mm -hmm. So if you combine it with milk, uh, yogurt, you know, lactic acid, uh, then you're getting the best of everything. Wow, I Try hope you've got your answer, Chandni, and I hope yeah. you respond back to us and tell us how yes, that worked how out. That went. I'm going to try that out. I think that's a really good one when you go on a beach holiday and you come back. You just give yourself so a full body mask. Your body, yeah. So you leave it on for 10 minutes and then wash yeah, it off. Yeah, 10 15 minutes and, and, and go into a shower. So yes. it's your at home spa experience. That's good. I, I know a lot of people when they talk about natural skincare talk about a lot of oils. 
And nowadays, yes. everyone's using oils on their face. Yes. yes. But when you have oily skin and when it's hot outside, you really don't want to use oil. You do actually. You do. I'll tell you why. Because mm -hmm. your skin uh, needs to have pH balance. Mm -hmm. What's called the acid mantle. Uh, uh, skin has problems like eruptions, congestion, mm -hmm. debris, dead skin, um, dull, e uneven skin tone, acne. All of that is a result of either internal issues, which is mm -hmm. why it's erupting, or makeup, or sun, or whatever it is, or mm -hmm. environment pollution. So all this means is that your acid mantle, your pH balance is disrupted. Mm -hmm. You want to take care of that, and a whole lot of skin issues will resolve themselves. Mm -hmm. um, other than, of course, you know, uh, melasma and pigmentation and things mm -hmm. like that. So what you want to do is you want to make sure if you have uh, um, uh, uneven skin tone, if you have eruptions, uh, you maintain the acid balance. So what kind of oils should you use if so you have for, eruptions? Uh, or if you have uh, oily skin. Yes, right? oily skin. Acne, okay. oily skin. Uh, you want to use oils, why? Because when your skin is freaked out like that, and say you use salicylic acid on the spots mm -hmm. that you want to treat, it dries out your skin. Mm -hmm. It's going to dry out your skin. Uh, that's the way it's going to treat it. But then you want to balance it out, and you want to use oils so that you it's still maintained, yeah, and so that acid mantle isn't because with salicylic acid you disrupted the acid mm -hmm. mantle to take care of the issue. So you want to use oils. Don't shy away and don't be afraid of using oils. But few criteria for oil: cold pressed. Uh, that means it's not um, high heated oil, which is you know going to really. It, 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 you don't want to go anywhere near heated mm -hmm. oil. So cold pressed. Cold pressed. Always something you should Very read important. on the label. Yeah. Okay. Cold pressed. Uh, you want to go for oils which are higher in linoleic acid. Uh, linoleic so omega, acid. yeah. So okay. omega six nine. You don't want oils that are rich in mm -hmm. oleic acid. Oleic acid, which is an essential fatty acid mm -hmm. in oils, is good for dry skin. Mm -hmm. So you want. You don't want almond oil. You don't want avocado. Oil, you don't want macadamia. Oil. Those are all for people with mature dry skin. Okay. No avocado. No almond. No macadamia. No, no macadamia. Well, you want apricot. Acid. Apricot Precot is too. fantastic. Uh, grapefruit seed extract. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, you know, uh, grapeseed oil. Uh -huh. uh, oils that are there are no such thing as dry or oily oils, but that have a they're great for all shades of skin. Uh, so for dry, for for oily skin, for acne skin, you want uh, uh, dry oils. Mm -hmm. If if that's kind of a term you can use. Mm -hmm. So you want those kind of oils for acne skin. Mm -hmm. So for example, sea buckthorn berry. It is such a rich, deep oil, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. I can show it to you, but oh my God, within two weeks or so, and there are studies, you know, there's research, you can Google it, that, that uh, young boys with completely acne, you know, uh, mm -hmm. skin, in two weeks, it's like totally clear, only using sea berry oil. Mm -hmm. But again, you need to make sure that it's, you know, cold pressed or it is a super critically extracted, it's not a heated oil. So how do you usually use the these oils? Just one drop in your hand and pat it on your face. Yeah, so usually oils uh, penetrate deeper if you uh, dark your skin. Mm -hmm. So use pure rose, hydrosol, rose water, any kind of hydrolat, mm -hmm. hydrosol, uh, which is pure plant. So maybe you can uh, mist water. your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like with this. Yes. Uh, with this is the wild rose. Yeah, it's. it's okay, so you have to tell us how do you put a face oil? What is the right way to do it? So, okay, so I, for my face oil, I will mist my face. Mm -hmm. Always, always mist your face with something. Yeah, so mist mm -hmm. it so it's damp, not wet. Uh -huh. And then I would take, so for example, I'm going to take, say, my Illumin, right? Uh -huh. uh, this is my Illumin. This is a combination of rosehip seed. See, Bakpanan is wonderful for uh, oily skin That's as really well nice. as <laughs> the rose. The water, rose oil. Right? So this is the, see, uh, the uh, Illumin. And so I would just take two drops. That's it. Okay. I've just taken two drops. That's not a lot. And then I would, you know. And that's all it takes. Oh. Yeah. So you don't have to do the whole massage in your hand and oh, like pat in your face. Uh, on. Right now, I'm just because it's on. But otherwise, you'd want to, you know, do that. And then, if you want beautiful skin, make facial massage an integral part of your mm -hmm. of your skincare rituals. So what I'm doing is, is I'm pushing and patting it into my skin, uh -huh. and then the massage will follow later. But this is what I'm doing. I'm mm -hmm. patting it in. Really nice. So I think it's also very calming. It's like a ritual you need. Yes, to have exactly. someone in your nose. 
some extra shine as well. <laughs> and you know, you can actually mix the oil. I mean, if in the daytime you want to incorporate oils into your skincare rituals, mix it into your moisturizer, and sometimes you can use it all on its own too. You know, it's good enough. So here we are, and then you know you can start massaging. I mean, there are different massage techniques. But you would, if it's in the night, you know, twice a week, really do deep tissue massage and always out. I'm not doing it really deep now, but uh -huh. always, you know, out. And upwards. And up, upwards, and then you bring it down. This is your lymphatic drainage, you know. Over here, behind your ears? Yes. Uh, okay. uh, a little in front of the ears in and this here. Yeah, you Basically. know, and all the way down. And, you know, so you're uh, elim eliminating a lot of mm, toxins, toxins, puffiness. Uh, you know, so if you wake up with a puffy face, you can do that as well. Yes, oh, that totally. Okay. In the morning, a little bit, and it also brings fresh oxygenated blood close to your, you know, uh, your, to your skin, so you get this flash and of glow. glow. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, Samantha wants to know what's the best oil you recommend for rosacea? Rosip seed oil, sea buckthorn oil. Uh -huh. um, uh, Why rosehip seed oil? What are the benefits of rosehip seed oil? So rosehip seed oil, uh, it uh, it has high levels of retinol, uh, vitamin C, vitamin A, mm -hmm. um, which uh, 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 basically it helps to calm skin down. Uh, it restores elasticity without uh, being too oily mm -hmm. and without um, um, aggravating. Skin aggravating, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. you know. So it's um, it's a beautiful oil. It's a beautiful sort of multi-correctional oil for mm -hmm. all Everybody. kinds of yeah, uh -huh. all kinds of. You know, and the other one that I'm enamored with is the Siva Thorn oil. Siva Thorn. Mm -hmm. It's just like the ultimate. Yeah. So two things that I think everyone should make a part of their skincare routine right now is a rosehip seed oil and yes. the sea buckthorn oil. So, uh, either, uh, bo you know, you may not need both of them. Either or, depending either on Either or, yes. Skin. Because uh -huh. again, if you have uneven skin tone and you have blemishes, you have uh, you have pigmentation as well. Like I have really treated a lot of, pig I'm very prone to pigmentation. So, you know, around the eyes, around the, you know, and then women of a certain okay. age. I think everyone deals with pigmentation. pigmentation. Indian, yes. Indian skin is we prone, are prone to, pigmentation. to pigmentation. So, you know, around the mouth. But uh, honestly, believe me, I have seen remarkable results for pigmentation uh, with so many of my clients, with so many people, and my on my own skin. Okay, so what do they use? Tell us. I so, think everyone wants to know how to deal with pigmentation. So pigmentation, of course, you know, I mean, other than this, sunscreen is very important. Please do not use chemical sunscreen. Look for something with physical mm -hmm. sunscreen. Go buy your own titanium dioxide and zinc, non-nano, <laughs> uncoated. A little powder, mix it with your whatever, and you're sorted. That's what so you need. a pinch of titanium dioxide yeah, yeah. in your moisturizer, you mix it, and that's all. That's all. What that's are all. what are some of the drawbacks of this? Because I am no, pretty sure no. everyone is scared no. to mix some powder in. No, there's nothing. Zero drawback. Uh -huh. Zero. Honestly, no. It doesn't leave the white cast. So that's what you know. I mean, uh, then you gotta find your. You gotta find yeah that little balance. So you mix it in your foundation. Oh, that's a good you idea. Know, mix it in you your mix foundation. It in your yeah. yeah. So, uh, but that that's the best way. So, sun care is very important. It's the best thing. DIY sunscreen. DIY. Food. Go on to, it. like, uh, go on to maybe iHerb or, you know, Amazon, wherever. Mm -hmm. Pick up your zinc, but buy non-nano uncoated so that it doesn't, you know, penetrate. Uncoated zinc. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. so the particles are not, molecules are, the molecules are not so fine that they penetrate and then cause issues yeah. you know, to your mm -hmm. head. But so, sunscreen is very important. Uh, and then for pigmentation, really masking. Please, thrice a week. Really? Thrice a week, find your own DIY mask or then, you know, pick up something that, um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, read the label, read the ingredients, uh, research each of the ingredients and see what is good for pigmentation. Mask three times a week, you will find that it really, it's a long, slow process. Mm -hmm. With natural skincare, there are no quick fixes, you know. So, with the chemical-based skincare, you'll see, like, you know, acids, uh, uh, retinoids mm -hmm. and stuff like retinoid acid, mm -hmm. you will find overnight results, but mm -hmm. in the long run, you have to be very careful. Sun sensitivity, your skin becomes, and I am the queen of peels, I have done it all, and I've, you know, my skin was so thin and so sensitive, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, and it's taken me a decade to put it back into place. But mm -hmm. today, my skin's tensile strength, it is so much more. Um, Resilient. Um, yeah, resilient and strong and my skin is so much better mm -hmm. than it was. But that's what peels usually do. They just take the top layer of your skin over and over. They take it off yes, and your skin yes. just becomes weak even though it looks amazing. 
Yes, so you then need to supplement it and strengthen it. So mm -hmm. typically in your routine, you would uh, want to, if you want to do acids and mm -hmm. acid toning and all that, then you want to, you know, have your, at the end of it, you know, something really moisturizing to lock in, you know, and, and hydrate and nourish the skin. Mm -hmm. So Afreen wants to know, can you give us some useful tips for oily skin? Yes, so oily skin, um, acid mantle. If you get a zit or a pimple, please buy apple cider vinegar with the mother in it. So you'll see What's the dirty. What's the mother? Oh, like a little scoby. Yeah, the little, yeah, you know, so you need that. Otherwise, you know, it's not going to be as effective. And that's the best thing to maintain your skin's pH balance. Mm -hmm. So, um, so what do you do? You just dab it on your skin? Uh, you can dab it indirectly or on a wet, damp, uh, you know, cotton pad. You just take that and, you know, put wipe it on your face. Your, wipe your face mm -hmm. or, or the areas. And that should really help. Is and that then, like a toner that you use before or after you wash your face? Uh, yeah, after you cleanse, you can do this, which hazel is amazing. Mm -hmm. Again, so you can mm -hmm. do which hazel. You can do ACV. Um, What's and, ACV? Uh, apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, again, you know, masking. Masking is really, really important mm -hmm. because it keeps your skin's uh, 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 keeps it in check. It's like giving your skin yeah. a treat every yeah. few days. Yeah. And uh, you know, and it's, it, it, it gives you the results. So uh -huh. for oily skin, do all of these things. And um, also, you know, it's what you eat. <laughs> what you eat makes a big difference, after you. But I think, I hope you've got your answer. You yeah. must. Witch hazel, apple cider vinegar, vinegar with the mother in it. Yes. And make sure um, to mask. And you mask, yes. Mm -hmm. So you keep the, the pollution, the congestion, the dirt, the grime, the debris, you know, you're forever, mm -hmm. you know, you're doing that so your skin is uh, maintaining that you know, it's clean. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, it's it's clean and it's it's uh, okay. not congested. I think we're just gonna make it all about everyone's questions. So keep those questions coming in. Yeah. Shruti wants to know how do you deal with dark circles? Oh, I have. <laughs> if 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 any dermatologist or if anybody could find a cure for completely, you know, getting rid of dark circles, I'd be the first one to subscribe. But um, as we know, dark dark circles are caused because of many reasons. It could be. Uh, the contour, the shape of your face and your eyes. Mm -hmm. So like me, I have deep set eyes. So that casts a shadow. Mm -hmm. uh, also age, you know, that could also uh, make a difference. You know, mm -hmm. how, how the contours of your of, of face. Your, uh, mm -hmm. your, um, it can be diet. And for a lot of Indians like me, a lot of it is genetic. Mm -hmm. you, you can't really, and I've had dark rings for whenever I can remember. So, um, and honestly, potato, you know, uh, uh, potato pads and cucumber all these things do work uh, good sleep that would help mm -hmm. but if you in terms of skincare what you want to know what will help is uh, I found rosehip seed oil rosehip seed oil again yeah, really it's definitely really. a star because of uh, uh, it's vitamin A vitamin C and of mm -hmm. course it's not uh, it's it's pro retinol mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's not uh, uh, active vitamin C that like you know like acids but uh, honestly over long term mm -hmm. when you do that you do see you know okay. the so rosehip right seed oil for an eye treatment should be really good for you Shruti uh, Dolly wants to know can you give us some useful trip tips for dry aging skin um, you want to make sure that you uh, it's both uh, it's not dehydrated and not dry mm -hmm. so uh, humectants uh, to lock the moisture in make sure you're not using um, skincare or makeup that is drying mm -hmm. uh, with uh, you know like glycols PEG you know uh, PEG these are glycols that really dry out your skin mm -hmm. uh, alcohols they dry out your skin mm -hmm. so you want to make sure that you are using uh, skincare that is nourishing and, and doesn't end up actually in the long run drying out your skin mm -hmm. be very careful with uh, uh, again you know if you're doing retinoids or if you're going you know uh, if you're on prescription medication that will dry out your skin. Mm -hmm. A lot of emollient, moisturizing, nourishing uh, creams. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm uh, guessing masking is always good. Absolutely, it? absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know. And you want nourishing masks. And you know what? Use a lot of balms. Mm -hmm. Use a lot of restorative balms. Um, All those rich, oily, yes. luxurious, creamy yes. products are yes. really good for your skin. Yes. Yes. And I think a good face massage, like you said earlier. Very, with the, honestly, with your oils or with your balms or mm -hmm. with your creams you know really massage your face mm -hmm. so that it penetrates you know into the skin and that's a good one so uh we're gonna go with one more last question before we finish ours um arti wants to know that she's had dark lips since she was a child is there an at-home remedy for this or should she just embrace it 
No, you don't need to embrace it. You can definitely try to, uh, uh, you know, even out uh, uh, the kind darkness, of mm -hmm. but you should know the cause. Very often, it's uh, makeup. It, mm -hmm. it's, it's lipsticks, you know. They will over time darken your skin mm -hmm. uh, because of the chemicals in them. Uh, so to counter that, you want to uh, scrub your lips. Mm -hmm. So you want to make your own, like she's asked for DIY peels. Mm -hmm. I would say take papaya. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's got amazing enzymes. Take uh, uh, papaya, take uh, um, uh, uh, tomatoes, tomatoes okay. you know, uh, yogurt. Um, and uh, Individually? Uh, no, no, together. Together, okay. Together, so you mix some tomatoes. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of lemon juice in it, Papaya. you know. Uh, never Sounds use like lemon. a really good salad. <laughs> everything, you know, like I said, the first thing when we said, look to your kitchen, you know. So everything your in your skincare should kind of be good enough to eat. Exactly, mm -hmm. you know. It should be good enough to eat. And honestly, just get into your kitchen and enjoy, you know, uh -huh. concocting for yourself. So the lip scrub, but, like so the lip scrub you need. Papaya, and tomatoes, yogurt, lime. Yogurt, uh, lemon. Now, never ever use lemon juice directly. Please, mm -hmm. you know, all these... DIY remedies, rubbing lip, please don't because you screw up your acid mantle. Uh -huh. so don't do that. Uh, but you can mix it definitely. Uh, uh, it will definitely help. Uh, and yeah, and then use that and scrub your uh, lips. Do it every single day and you should definitely see That's it. That's a good one. Yeah. And oil. Add a bit of oil. And a bit of oil just to Almond, make nourish it. Apricot, yeah. Great. So I hope you've got your answer, Aarti. Yeah. So before we wrap up, I think you should tell us what is the perfect or the most balanced skincare routine anyone can have. What, what are some things you need? So, like, for me, I have dry skin. Um, so, for me, my for dry skin, your routine would be um, in the morning, you want to cleanse, you want to... Um, I tend to always massage a little bit um, uh, my uh, oils. Oils, so you massage the oils into your face. Yeah, That's whichever ones catch my fancy for the day. Uh, you know, a few minutes and massage that in. And uh, so I would first damp my skin and massage, then I would damp my skin again with the rose mist. And um, uh, and then after that, I would apply, uh, you know, if my, um, the oil feels nourishing enough, then I'll immediately put sunscreen. If not, I would use my face cream a little bit mm -hmm. and then I would put my, sunscreen um, my sunscreen on and um, and maybe some blush or whatever for for and then uh, thrice a week i mask sometimes i mask every single day okay. because it's almost like an addictive uh, self care ritual where i feel it's a feel good factor you know mm -hmm. and you see this dramatic instant visible result you just your skin is baby soft and it's glowing and it's clean and you just feel it's like when you've had a beautiful long bath you know uh -huh. you come out feeling good so uh, masking definitely helps your skin, um, you know, to maintain it in prime condition. Mm -hmm. And then in the night, honestly, massage a lot of really high quality oils, creams, um, sometimes balms, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and cleanse really well. Like I said, I use witch hazel, I use ACV, mm -hmm. uh, and I use oils to cleanse my skin. You know, take mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know take any oil, uh, massage it into damp skin, and then ring a nice. Uh, uh, large towel uh, with hot water and so that warm damp towel you know press it into your skin and that's what Cleanse you need. Face. Yeah. Don't use foaming face washes please. They just you know they they're screw not up good your, for you. Yeah they screw up your you know I mean it's, it's not an easy thing to But to we learned properly. so many good things from you today. So yeah. you can cleanse with an oil. You should mask twice a week. Yeah. Rose hip seed oil is your best friend. In yeah. almost every issue you yeah. have. Rosehip seed, seabuck thorn. Seabuck thorn um, is great. Yeah. Um, what else have you missed? And for dry skin, uh, honestly, uh, uh, sorry, for, for acne, oily skin, make sure you do incorporate oils. Don't be afraid. But uh, know what oils are good for mm -hmm. acne skin, oily skin. And uh, mask again because then you keep away the congestion mm -hmm. and the, the you know, build up. And uh, always read the label, like you said. All ingredients, very Always important. know what you're putting yeah. on your face. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much, Kavita. My Thank pleasure. you so much for joining us. Thank if you have you. any more questions for Kavita, you can leave them yeah, down in the comments. Them. And join us next week for our next live session. Okay.